Hello everyone, my name is Maria Cornejo Lupo and I'm going to talk about our paper, a strategy to validate knowledge representation in service robots through experimentation applied to the SLAM domain. Semantic knowledge is being introduced in robotics. It is used to complete the information of maps with semantic information about locations and objects, among others, in the so-called semantic mapping field. Ontologies are a widely used tool for modeling and formalizing semantic knowledge, but like every approach or tool, ontologies must be evaluated to determine if the ontology suits the problem. A common way to evaluate ontologies is by using a formal comparison and evaluation, focused in the quality and correctness of the ontologies and their ability of modeling the domain, considering features at the lexical and structural level. However, these strategies neglect the empirical evaluation in terms of the ontology's performance in robotics experiments. In this sense, we propose a novel approach that takes advantage of existing approaches to combine several strategies and standardize how researchers and robotics practitioners can validate a knowledge representation through experimentation. We propose three different experiment sets validation of robot performance correctness in different scenarios, user validation of the quality of the knowledge representation, and measure of in inference response time. The first experiment set, validation of robot performance correctness in different scenarios, uh, we evaluate the robot performance correctness by comparing maps built by robots performing a traditional SLAM algorithm versus a map reconstructed with OntoSLAM ontology. We follow the next steps. Robot A performs the G mapping algorithm using the data structures of rows. The resulting map is considered as the correct one. The same robot translates the SLAM information to instance of the onto SLAM ontology. The resulting map is represented in triplets and stored in a web repository. Then a robot B recovers reconstructed maps and other information directly from the ontology instance. Finally, we compare that both representations have the same mapping information. For the next experiment, we see validation of the quality of the knowledge representation. In some cases, it is not possible to have algorithms to which compare the responses of the robots. For example, we don't have a benchmark result in such cases. The option is to survey expert users about the robot's behavior. That's why a set of tests was designed to allow the user to verify the quality of the knowledge representation. It could be through visual e evaluation, surveys, interviews, among others. The third experiment set, measure of inference response time. Since re service robots have time constraints in order to produce responses in real time, one validation experiment commonly used is related to the measure the time the robot delays to reply a stimulus and convert it into actions. In this sense, a set of tests to measure such as response time should be integrated into the validation. This measure might be taken from the moment the robot receives the stimulus to the moment the robot performs the expected action, which includes the time of accessing the information needed at the semantic repository. To demonstrate the suitability of the proposed strategy, we evaluate onto SLAM, an ontology in the SLAM domain, consisting of robot information, environment information, temporal and workspace information. It incorporates the information related to the time and the uncertainty of the robot positions and landmarks. With this ontology, we perform experiments on different maps with robotic operation system, known as ROS, and Gazebo Simulator with two social robots with different characteristics, the turtle robot and the pepper robots. For the first experiment sets, validation of correctness, uh, we elaborate a set of queries to verify the information that a robot needs to fulfill the objective of SLAM. This knowledge is related to robot information and map information. To answer the queries with on the SLAM, we use SparkQL and C++ scripts to access ROS data. We mainly consult ROS topics, like in this case, uh, we consult the, auto, the topic of odometry of the ROS 
and we took the pose, the position, and the x, y, and z coordinates. And in the case of Rundeslang, we do this structure query where we query about Cartesians x, y, and z, and we have this answer which relates the position, the post based footprint, with, the, um, with each Cartesian uh, x, y, and z. For the experiment sets to validation of quality, we choose the visually validation. We can see the these maps, which are the result of the constructed map in Montreux Lamp, with the original environment simulated on Gazebo, and the correct one constructed by G mapping algorithm are the same. We can appreciate that the generated maps based on, on the slam represent correctly the shape of the room and the landmarks presence and position. Those are the experiments performed on the TurtleBot 3 robot. For the experiments on Pepper, we can see the same behavior in larger environments and with people as landmarks. For the third experiment set, inference response time, we can see here the time milliseconds spent executing queries with both techniques on the slam and ROS. For the robot information questionnaire, as shown in the figure, on the slam is able to answer all uh, the queries, unlike ROS, which could not answer query two. As expected, querying on the slam is noticeable slower than querying the ROS topic directly. However, the performance of both techniques is good in terms of time, as no query exceeds the 10 milliseconds. For the second questionnaire, the map information questionnaire, which uh, we measure this chart in seconds, the result is different, since Hunter's Lamp is not only faster, but also is able to answer questions that ROS itself cannot, as question 8 and 13. As shown in this figure, the reason why Hunter's Lamp is faster in this questionnaire is because while ROS has to go through 100% of the cells of the message in the topic map, Hunter's Lamp only goes through the triplets that correspond to the scanned cells of the map. That is to say, without considering all the cell market as unknown, and which constitute more than 70.5 of the map. The result of this work show that our proposed validation strategy is well suited for testing and making experimental validation of ontologies in the robotics field. From the result, we can conclude that no information is lost in the face of instantiating on the slam with respect to ROS. The execution time of the queries in on the slam is longer than ROS. Nevertheless, the ontology models information that ROS can. ROS topics can only be performing during the time the robot is navigating while solving the slam problem. With an ontology, it is possible to keep records of all necessary information that can be consulted as many times as required. In conclusion, we propose a novel strategy to evaluate ontologies through experimentation, emphasizing in the correctness of response user evaluation and execution time. To demonstrate the suitability of the proposed strategy, we applied our validation approach to validate on the slam, obtaining results that show the benefit of including the semantic web without compromising the information for robotics application. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, you can do it now or contact us via email.